All right, today's adventure is a uh, six month review on the H2O Express uh, 1499 terminal tackle box by uh, Academy Sports. If you haven't seen this before, go ahead and check out my initial video six months ago. I'll put the link in the description of when I first uh, bought this thing and kind of my thoughts. And then uh, I've had it for six months now. I can tell you I have used and abused this thing. Um, I don't know if you can, you can probably see kind of a, it's, it's worn, it's banged up. I've dropped this out of my pickup truck on concrete. I've dropped it on the boat ramp at least half a dozen times. Um, I sit on top of it often <laughs> in the kayak. Uh, this thing has been banged around and, and uh, I got to tell you I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with it. The, uh, the latches hold, it still seals really well. Um, I've never had water get into this. I've actually thrown it in the water and it floated. Um, and again, I've dropped it on the boat ramp as well. And uh, I'm, I'm totally impressed with this thing for 15 bucks. It's awesome. I don't, uh, you know, there's not a lot to talk about it. This isn't gonna be like a 15 minute long video. But uh, I, nothing's broke. The uh, the hinges are in, in great shape. The seal, the rubber seal, is still in there. It's uh, it's pretty pretty nice. It's organized. Now the, the only thing I will say is if if you do drop it, some of your weights, if they're not in, that's why I kind of put this foam over it. Um, some of these weights are not in real tight, like right here. Some of these flipping weights. So they will, they will come out of that foam. I put this on it and it kind of holds them down. These ones stay in pretty well. Uh, and then I went ahead and bagged everything just to make it quiet when I'm fiddling with it so it's not rattling. But again, this thing is solid. I'm, uh, I'm really impressed with it. Six months down and, and uh, I really like it. Now the other one I, I bought and I talked about was this, was this Plano. This is the new one. This is the uh, the uh, 2700 jig box. Um, originally I thought this thing was uh, the cat's meow, but to be honest, it's not worth its money. Um, the rubber seal is still intact, but I get water in here. I've cracked the hinge here, and the hinge here is broken. I don't know if you can see that or not. I, uh, I have not dropped this box. This is getting in and out of the kayak crate only. This moisture wick box I have somewhere. In fact, I thought it was over here. Um, I have it somewhere, but once once you get moisture in here, you got to take that box out and dry it out or, or it doesn't work. And so I spend so much time taking that box out to dry. I forget it about it a lot of times. The the plastic pieces that hold the heads, football heads, work really well and it holds it in. Um, it all depends what size they are. Chatter baits, some of them, it'll hold it in. Uh, and some won't. I've even put spinner baits in here and uh, laid them down so it works I just wish the plastic wasn't so brittle the uh, the hinges seem like they're a little bit brittle uh, again maybe my my water leak is because of the the jig trailers and the getting in the way I don't know I'll, uh, I'll continue using it until I find something better I can't say that I wasted money on it, but for something this expensive, I'd expect it to last a little longer. And yeah, you can see where my, so maybe that's what's causing the, the water to come in. But with the broken hinges, the cracked and broken hinges is what has me worried. And then of course the Old Faithfuls. This is the, uh, the 3700 Deeps. You know, these things are like $10 a piece. 
I've had no issues with them. I mean, I stuff them. <laughs> uh, this is my creature baits, and it's 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 stuffed. And uh, here's a here's a thin one for my swim baits. But these these are just plain work for the money. I've uh, you know I get condensation in them. If I leave them in my kayak overnight in Missouri, it's real humid. So the temperature changes and we get a lot of water. But uh, these just work for the money. So I'll keep using these. But really, that's it. $14.99, man. I don't think you can beat this anywhere. This thing's awesome. In fact, I'll probably end up buying a couple more of them just to keep them in stock. They, uh, I'm pretty impressed with them. Thanks for watching.